Hey Aries, how you doing? I'm going to be doing your reading here for end of February. See what the energy looks like for you guys. Keep in mind these are general readings so they may not resonate with everyone out there. All right, let's get right into it and see what's going on. We're doing the Celtic Cross today. Um, kind of get a snapshot of everything and then I'll get some clarifiers. All right, let's see here. What we got going on for Aries end of February? The Knight of Swords. Um, so Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Uh, don't get so caught up with the the signs, okay? If it, if it is someone that you're dealing with that is an air sign, all the best. Uh, but, you know, it could be literally anything, okay? Um, so Knight of Swords, Energy, you know, th this is movement forward, okay? This could be some sort of communication coming towards you or some news coming towards you, but fast, okay? Your challenge, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse, all right, interesting. I could be worried about this news coming in. Or it might give you some sort of anxiety, something like that. Um, or, I think, you know, it's, it's more like whoever's coming in with this news is very stressed about it, okay? Um, you know, having some sort of worry with bringing this sort of news to, towards you, okay? Um, your focus is the Queen of Wands. That is your energy. So you are in your power. You're in your element here, Aries, here. Um, wow, cards are coming out. We have recent past. I have the Seven of Cups. Possibilities, I have the Queen of Coins. So it could be dealing with an Earth sign. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. In the recent past, somebody had some options. It could be you. Um, maybe new opportunities. Are you seeing some new opportunities? This could be work, career, or relationships. Near future... I have the Nine of Wands, more of your energy. In this deck, it's Sagittarius energy here. Um, so definitely, you know, protecting your energy, um, having some boundaries, not letting anyone kind of come in here um, that easy. And, um, excuse me, my nose is decided to go crazy. All right, itching. All right, so we have the moon in your... And your feels here. This is your power, the moon. Uh, we do have a full moon in Leo coming up. Um, but there's illusions, there's secrets, there's um, feelings coming out here. That's what it is, all right? Let's see. In the, your environment, I have the Three of Cups. Possible celebration for some of you guys, or maybe just coming in, get-togethers, going out with friends. I mean, you know, you're just kind of going out having a good time. Queen of Cups as your hopes and fears. You have two people, two people here. Possible outcome, I have the Six of Swords. Okay, let's see what is going on. Let me get these cards this way. Bomb the deck, I have the Temperance card. So Sagittarius energy. So for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We have Six of Wands there too, so... Good energy, and I'll go over it. Um, so we have some sort of communication. Somebody is, you know, in their head, maybe worried about coming towards you with some sort of offer or communication, or maybe asking you out on a date. You know, just something like that. Someone's just nervous. All right. Um, queen of Wands, the Queen of Coins. So towards Virgo, Capricorn, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, or there is an offer from or a new connection here that uh, is coming here for you Aries okay it doesn't necessarily have to be an earth sign it could be any sign but we have the queen of coins or the queen of cups up there um, so it tells me that you are thinking about a past person and possibly there's a new person coming in um, and there is somebody moving forward with that or at least thinking about it we have the swords six of swords energy this is Aquarius energy this is all in the mind okay this is somebody that is thinking about moving forward towards you okay hasn't done it yet this is somebody just thinking about what, what way can I come towards Aries, okay? Queen of Cups, somebody's feeling a very emotional for you or having this deep love. They do have a cup to offer. Look at that. As you can see in the picture, she's holding a cup there. They, they want to come towards you with some sort of offer. So this might be somebody here um, that you're dealing with or talking to or someone from the past, okay? Somebody that you know is moving towards you here with some sort of offer. But at the same time, you have a new connection here, um, but with the Nine of Wands tells me that you've been kind of protecting your energy. You're not letting a lot of people in right now, okay? You might be um, 
deciding what you want to do. Um, and with the Queen of Wands energy, this being you, I feel like you're you're finding out your power or just kind of like, you know, really have, has your eyes on a prize, basically. So if this is a work situation or a money situation, you have your eyes on something else and you want to go get it. You, you have a goal in your mind here, okay? Um, you've been patient. You've definitely been patient here. Six of Wands, though, I do see victory coming towards you regardless of the uh, regardless of the situation. So let's get some clarifiers and dissect this a little bit here because this is wow. This Ace of Swords flew out. So we have Ace of Swords, but I'm not taking it because I didn't ask a question. All right. So let me see what this these cards are all coming out here. The Nine of Wands wants to come out again. All right. So, let me find out who this Queen of Cups is. Let's see, who is this Queen of Cups for Aries? We have the Hangman, okay? So, the Hangman tells me that this person took some time out, all right? So, maybe this is someone that you were, like I was saying, talking to, dealing with, but they have took some time out, maybe went into hermit mode, looked at things in a different perspective. The Hangman is about... Stopping for a second, looking at different routes. You know, what do you want to do? This person just needed some time, okay? Um, we have the star. You know, maybe they needed to heal. Um, you know, and, and also the star is about wishes. You know, somebody wanting some sort of stability here with you, okay? So someone did take some time out, took some time to rest, heal, take care of themselves. Um, and again, flip it if you need to. This might be you. Uh, but again, they, when, when they came out of this here, they're come, or they're coming out of it, um, to where they, you know, the four of wands is like wanting some sort of stability and happiness here, okay? So um, there's some clarity that has happened. There's a new perspective that someone is looking into. Um, let's see. Wow. So let's see what this seven of cups is all about there. Uh, seven of cups clarified by seven of cups. Wow. So there's just a lot of options. So Aries, if this is you... Maybe you just had a lot of options, or somebody just has a lot of options, okay? I'll put it that way, and you can kind of fit it, you know, if this is resonating, you can fit it where you need to, but somebody here had a lot of options, a lot of, like, people coming towards them, or maybe this person had, um, you know, their eyes on a lot of different people, you know, something like that. They're just really into either dating a lot of people or getting a lot of attention, um, you know, that's kind of what I see here, and the Queen of Wands, too, is... It's like a celebrity, to be honest. It's like, you know, everyone's wanting this person, you know? So it's it's the Queen of Wands energy is about, um, you know, dressed up nice, going out, having a good time, meeting different people. Uh, but whatever it is, there's just multiple opportunities for this person, okay? Um, wow. So <sighs> let's get into this more because this is Queen of Coins. Who's that? The Queen of Cups. All right. This Queen of Coins, clarified by the Queen of Cups, and Temperance again. So, you, <laughs> yeah, the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So you, you got some, you got a lot of good stuff coming towards you, man. Like this is, this is, this is crazy. Okay, so you have, there's two people. Okay, there's definitely two people. And you have the Seven of Cups, so there's more energies. I mean, I say two people because there's two that are very strong in this reading, but I also see others. You know, there's others that have their eye on you, you know? And um, the Seven of Cups, I feel like you just got a lot of stuff coming towards you. See, with the Queen of Cups clarified by the Queen of Coins, or Queen of Coins, and then the Queen of Cups is clarified. Um, this person here um, is... is they have a lot of emotions here for you or they will you know this is someone that looks at you and just says you know wow you know i, I want to get to know aries um you know i want to be able to take care of this person you know something like that they've been waiting patiently as well so it's like you know it, 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 you know if you felt like things were stuck things are changing very fast and then you have the lovers at the bottom of the deck here okay so there is a, you know, a lot of attention coming towards you. That's what it is. Oh, you know what? Yeah, because we have the Six of Wands, okay? The Six of Wands, the Temperance, a lot of attention is coming towards you here. And this may cause a little bit of jealousy too, okay? And then you have the Magician on top of that. Damn. So you have the Magician might be causing some sort of 
jealousy from other people. People are just kind of looking at you saying, what the heck? Uh, we have temperance twice and then victory. Uh, Six of Wands, just feeling good, recognized, okay? Um, that's really what's going on, but um, let's see, what's, what are you going to do? What, what are you going to do, Aries, here? Let's see. You get three cards on the potential outcome. Actually, I'm going to just do these two energies because they kind of stick out here. What's going to happen here? We have the Ten of Swords and the Sun for the Queen of Cups, and then the Queen of coins i have the knight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles interesting and then the bottom of the deck i have your energy the king of wands yeah this is you because like you have the ten of wands this is like coming over overcoming a lot of obstacles a lot of crap that you had to deal with um you're definitely in your strength here the king of pentacles is also and the empress wow so there's a lot of energy of you being very healed and strong and moving forward. Um, like I said, a lot of attention, you know, coming towards you here. Doesn't matter male or female. If I see, if I, if you see queen, doesn't necessarily have to be female. Okay, um, it's just the energies that I'm seeing. Um, so both of them here, you know, you have you have good options. Okay, so if you are wanting a relationship, th there's a huge opportunity for that coming your way Aries um, again it's your decision what you want to do because you have other stuff going on in your life that you're starting to see you're starting to see other things that you want to pursue okay but either way you have a lot of attention coming towards you and they're all good good options okay one just just sees you as their happiness okay this is someone that maybe you've dealt with maybe this is someone from the past or someone around you um, that sees you as you know they want to spend all the time with you. There's a new connection, though, that has long-term capability. Okay, Knight of Pentacles is going to take some time, um, but they're very independent. The Queen of Coins, and then you have the Nine of Pentacles. This person is very independent. You have Temperance, Patient. They're balanced, okay? So you have good potential coming towards you. The, it, your biggest challenge, again, is just kind of like, what do you want to do, you know? Um, do you want to put your time and energy into relationships right now? Or do you want to focus your time and energy into your goal, um, your wishes, your dreams, your, you know, things, the opportunities that have been coming towards you? Uh, maybe you have a new job opportunity. Maybe you have to relocate. Maybe there's, um, you know, just new things that you want to explore now. Maybe you want to travel more and not worry about relationships right now. But whatever the case is, you have a lot of energy coming towards you, being attracted towards you here. All right. So. Either way, that's that. That's what I see. Okay, so um, end of February into March here, you're just going to have a lot of options. That's really what it is. Seven of Cups twice, um, and you get to make some choices. But they're all good options. All good things coming towards you. All right, Aries, I'll leave it at that. All right, you just have a lot of good stuff coming towards you. A lot of good energy coming towards you. Um, if anything in your reading, just watch out. I think Sagittarius kind of had that twice uh, in in this recent video uh maybe two weeks ago um it's like that energy where you know things are going good you're moving forward um and then all of a sudden you got these haters being attracted to you too so sometimes when things are going well everything's fitting in for you not only do you attract good energy you're also attracting haters and that's just the way it is there's nothing way you can't get around that right so people are always not going to want to see you glow up and uh, and not want to see you have all that attention so if anything um ignore them um if you see anything negative or hear anything negative ignore it and move forward you know and that's kind of like a test too it's like universe sometimes tests us to see have we grown up spiritually um you know are you um in that energy of forgiving and saying you know what that's not worth it that's not my fight you know today this is not, not this is a waste of energy you know when you have that ability to do that it's very powerful okay when you start engaging into little things in that devil energy and you don't even have the devil card out here um then you start kind of going in that that boat and you kind of you're not getting out of it right you're in that hole and you're not moving forward so i see a lot of fo forward movement i see a lot of connections coming towards you two that are very um prominent in this reading but um good connections good connections so you know it could be a friend could be romantic take what you want with that but um, either way 
Okay, not sure what happened to my camera there. All right, so fulfillment's being your card. So matter, no matter what you want to do or become, you will achieve more with knowledge, okay? Uh, so basically, it just means, you know, consult with people that are, you know, if there's something that you want to get into or learn business-wise or want needing to write a book, you know, find somebody that has done it before and, uh, and ask questions, you know? Um, so that's, that's kind of what this card is all about, okay? Uh, so you may want to, it says right here, you may want to find an, to inquire about a field of study has been widely explored and chose to go to an experienced teacher to learn more. Okay, so that's what your card means. Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Hit the like if this did resonate. And uh, yeah, until next time, we'll see you. You guys have a good one.